Tom Paine was born in 1737 in Norfolk. He went on to become famous as an author, intellectual and revolutionary. He was one of the founding fathers of the United States. After leaving Norfolk, he lived in London and Kent working as a corset maker. He then decided on a change of career and became an excise man. After postings in various places, at the age of 31 he was posted in Lewis, where he lived for the next six years. In Lewis he lived in the Bull House as a lodger of Samuel Olive, who owned a tobacconist and general store. And after Olive's death, Payne took over the business. And he went on to marry his landlord's daughter, Elizabeth Olive, in St. Michael's Church, a marriage that lasted only three years, and they separated just before he left for America. Payne joined a debating society called the Headstrong Club, which was based at the White Hart Hotel. Payne was awarded the Headstrong Book of Obstinacy for his prowess at debating. Next door to the Bull House is the Westgate Chapel, which in Payne's time was a Presbyterian chapel. The radical themes of the sermons would have been debated by Payne and others at the Headstrong Club. Whilst in Lewis he wrote his first pamphlet, The Case of the Officers of Excise, which made the case for improving pay and conditions for excise men. In 2009, the bicentenary of Payne's death, the Tom Payne printing press was established opposite Bull House. It uses an 18th century style wooden press to print Tom Payne's pamphlets. When he wasn't working, debating or writing political tracts, Payne liked to relax, playing bowls, and was a member of the Bowling Green Society, which is located near the castle. The Bowling Green is still used today, making it the oldest rough bowling green in continuous use in England. The Market Tower, formerly known as the Town Tower, was built in 1792, the same year as Payne's Rights of Man was published, and it now houses a mural of Tom Payne. Keir Street was once inhabited by a man named William Weston. Weston was transported back to his old parish from Yorkshire when he was declared a pauper, and the journey killed him. Tom Payne wrote a letter to the Lewis Gazette condemning Weston's rough treatment by the authorities. Tom Payne was a Quaker, and his best friend was buried at the Quaker's friend's Quaker Friends Meeting House. In 1774 Payne left Lewis, taking a ship to America, and became one of the founding fathers of the United States. Pelham House, which in Payne's time was a private house, is now a hotel, and has a Tom Payne room as a memorial to Lewis's famous revolutionary. Tom Payne's memory is still celebrated in Lewis, and many people still drink to his health over a pint of Tom Payne Ale from Harvey's Brewery. Music